And also let me point out, so technically, if I wanted to keep this over here, if this was actually that short, I could put the other one in. Hello. So you got spares. Actually, that was pretty smart. I didn't even think about it. LOL. All right, let's finish this baby up. All right, so I went out, got my hardware. We're done with the base plate. We're done with the welding. Second piece. Now we need to put our hardware on it so that it can uh, attach to the pipe easily. I did buy all stainless bolts and nuts. I pretty much always do that, um, even though that's carbon steel. Uh, and you'll see why I always use uh, stainless. Another thing, it doesn't rust. It don't turn out crappy like everything else. So um, that's what I got for that. Let me show you how I use these stainless bolts and nuts on my other piece. Here's a tranny cradle I made for a uh, engine stand I'm still working on. <clears throat> but I used stainless adjustment rods, whatever you want to call it. And I have stainless nuts on these actually. Same thing for here. Stainless, 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 and this is carbon. So I just don't like the look of rusty components. So I use a stainless. You can actually polish it up if you want. You don't even have to use stainless. You can use regular old carbon bolts too, but it's just my preference. All right, so let me get my headgear on. That way I can actually show you how I cut these up and get them prepared. And then uh, we're gonna take them on on this. And then it's gonna be off to paint. All right, so I know I told you I was going to use these stainless nuts and bolts and I was going to have two under here so this would be adjustable or removable one here so that this can spin and one here to keep the pole from actually spinning in case this one was locked down so change of plans I'm going to use this stainless tubing two big bolts and two big nuts let me get my headgear on, I'll show you what's going on. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut these heads off. And the quickest, easiest way to do that is with your little friend. So, I got to do the other bolt, and uh, you don't need to see how to do that, because you already saw with one, and I'm going to cut this down, and I'll show you a second how I'm going to do that. So let me get the other one done, 
and we'll get right back to this. All right, so I cut the heads off, and this is all we're left with. Then we have the nuts. So next thing we're going to do is cut this down, which is a piece of stainless pipe. I think it's like 80 thousandths. And let me do that right now. I'm going to put it on the machine. I'm going to cut these edges off square. Then what I want to do, get my little sharpie and determine how much handle of this I want. So we're going to say that much. All right, so basically what I did here is I just lined this up, I centered it out, I put a 1 16th gap on the bottom so that this would actually level out as good as it could. So let me get my welder set up and then uh, we'll take this out.
Yep, it's hot. Okay, so that's two for those. Alright, so now what I want to do is get this out of the way. Get this pipe off. Take that off. Take this pipe off. And what I want to do is to put this nut right here I'm not putting it in the center I'm not putting it on top I'm putting it on the bottom because when you put all your weight on it it's gonna tilt so it kind of makes sense to put that right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark that hole I'm gonna drill it out and then when I'm ready to weld it I'm gonna come back and I'll weld it up for you we'll get that done real quick The next thing you want to do is, you want to make the hole big enough for that bolt to go through. Stop and check it, don't keep drilling because you don't want to make it too big. Okay, so I thought I recorded this, but I didn't. All I did was I, I welded the uh, nut to the bar. No, I mean, it, it works great. What I'll do is I still have to put one here, like that. And then, Then we'll have our tea. So I'll show you the welding on this process. Let me drill this one. You already know what it's like to drill it because you obviously you saw it on this one. So let me drill this real quick.
All right, so there you go. It doesn't take much. Let's get this on there. And you don't need much weld because this isn't industrial. This isn't some crazy type of pressure holding anything. So it's just an armrest. All right, so let me set it up real quick and then we'll get back on here. All right, so check that out. And uh, we're not done yet. There's a couple extra things I'm gonna do here. Keep watching, because it's gonna end up pretty nice. I already like it. That's solid. Check this out. Unloosen it. Anywhere you want. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so this isn't really this isn't really necessary. It's a piece of stainless. And I'm gonna show you why I'm doing this. So uh, give me one sec. Okay, so I welded this piece of stainless plate to the top of this half inch plate. And let me show you why I did that. All right, so as promised, we're done. Um, first, I'd like to say, look at this paint. That is absolutely beautiful with almost no orange peel. Now, I've done a lot of painting in my life, single stage, dual stage, and uh, messy, smelly, the paint's pretty harmful. Um, it got to the point of my last painting days where I had to start wearing a fresh air apparatus because I couldn't smell the paint anymore because it made me sick. Totally another story. What I want to say is, if you can learn Hold on. If you look at the build on my uh, Everlast 255, then you'll know what I painted it with. But I'm going to tell you anyway. Rust-Oleum. Gloss white can be gloss black, whatever color you want. It has to be the high performance because this is good for the rust. If you can learn how to spray this through a gun, this is the results you'll get. Now, I did not sand all the mill scale and everything off this, so you can probably see the little indentions on it. But look how clear and smooth it laid down. That's the best part of Rust-Oleum. Super solid, super hard. You're not going to have a problem with rusting. You're not going to have any issues. So I used Rust-Oleum on this and obviously it came out great. Just like the welding machines. Just like my tranny, um, tranny stand cradle. Tranny cradle that I built for the uh, engine stand. So I'm sure some of you are wondering why I put this piece of stainless on this carbon steel base plate. Well, I don't like to have crappy looking tools. I don't like to work with crappy looking tools. Everybody's different. Uh, there's people out there that would have just put this together in all raw metal. 
and be done with it and be happy. I like cool looking stuff. So this belongs to me and I'm gonna build myself cool looking stuff. So the purpose of the base plate stainless steel strip that I put on here should be rather simple. This is my table. I'm pretty sure I'm always gonna have it on this corner. Obviously, I used the, uh, I told you earlier, I used stainless steel nuts and bolts and the T-handle and I just cut the head off of the bolts and it looks good. It looks really good. But anyway, back to this. <clears throat> so, because this base plate is painted, no matter how many times I put the clamp on it, it's going to start chipping off that paint. So, with a stainless steel plate, no matter how many times I clamp it, that's never going to rust, corrode, it's, it's always going to look good. No matter what I do, that's always going to look good. Because it's always going to get clamped here, not here, here, here. So this is always going to maintain that that new look which is what I want so put the pipe in got that adjustment and that just needs to be snug not tight then we have our slider bar Have our adjustment. Look at that. Is that awesome or what? Now, like I said, all the prettiness, that was because of me. You don't have to do all this, but I did. Then we have our bar. That is just awesome. I love it. So the reason that I did not put two adjustment screws here like I said I was going to do was because this is not going to come sliding out. That's no big deal. And then I was going to put two here. Well, you really don't need two. One big one's all you need. One big one's all you need here. And um, no matter where you put this, It's gonna be fine and it comes up pretty high so if you ever like put it on the floor or what have you it's gonna go wherever you want it so let me get some stuff put together <clears throat> and I'll show you uh, how it works in action all right, so I set up a little example here. So what I did was I just put my small vise right here with a piece of aluminum in it. And we can pretend that this is some kind of car part or structure or something that I'm gonna be welding on. And it sits in an awkward position. So this is how I'm going to use the TIG arm and uh, weld that out. So I already got my arm set up where I need it and this is all I'm going to do here and I'm just going to slide across the arm like this. So it's a total support, super easy to use.
All right, so moral of the story is you can build a really great TIG arm to help you TIG whatever parts you need that aren't going to be on the table and can be a lot higher. The steel is cheap. The pieces are cheap. I mean, everything you need is cheap. Um, but it's, it's really a great idea. It's a great product. I mean, I don't know if you can buy these or not. I've never seen them for sale. Like I said, the stainless plate that I welded to the, to the base plate, that was just preference. No matter how many times I clamp that down, where I clamp it down, it's never going to rust. It's never going to scratch. It's never going to look horrible. So it's always going to look good. Uh, the color I painted it is just, it was preference. I had that color using the stainless, you know, pieces, nuts, cutting the bolts heads off and putting the stainless tubing on that. You know, that's just preference. You can make a really, really ugly one or you can make a really good looking one. And I just wanted a good looking one. So this pretty much worked for everything you want. It is what it is. If you, um... If you thought this was a good video, at least comment or like it. Uh, it helps to circulate my videos. And um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, if you need dimensions or anything, don't hesitate to ask. But this is what it is, and I'm sure there can be many more uses for it other than what I plan to use it for. All right, folks. Have a great one. Be safe. Take care.